YouTube, Eugene here with the review on the SH Figure Arts Deca Green from Tulsa Sentai Deca Ranger. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging real quick. As you can see, it's got SH Figure Arts Deca Green, the meaning of figure arts right here. Special Police Deca Ranger, Tulsa Sentai Deca Ranger, and a nice big three here. And of course, this symbol indicates that this figure art is an exclusive. On the top of the box, it says SH Figure Arts Deca Green and the emblem here. On the bottom, pretty much nothing. On the side, it just says SH Figure Arts uh, Special Police Deca Ranger Deca Green, and the meaning of figure arts once again right here. On the other side of the box, got a nice cool pose of the figure art itself of Deca Green holding the SP license. It says SH Figure Arts Deca Green here. And on the back of the box, we got more awesomeness of Deca Green in poses. The movable, the option parts, and the molding. Figure art to be released of the Deca Ranger line. And just like Deca Blue, Deca Green is an exclusive, so he is going to be on the rather pricey side. But if you can find them at place at online places such as Mandrake, Oki, or maybe Rider Proxy, you wouldn't have a problem. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at him. Uh, clearly, friends, he is the same molding as Deca Red and Blue. Uh, this time painted in a green, and the helmet sculpt is done a bit different from the other two. And has the number three on the chest here. So uh, anyway, like I said, sculpts different. As you can see, I uh, got the helmet, uh, the badge on top of the helmet here, and the reflector right there. And then here's the emblem on the chest here, and of course the number three. Uh, of course, one thing about when you move the uh, the waist a little bit, it does tend to go off track with the three here, but that ain't no biggie. There's his buckle. And uh, all around, the green is really, really nice on him. The one thing I will say about this figure art is the one problem I have with it, it has the pesky Shinkanger shoulders. But it really, I mean, that's the only thing I don't like about it, but hey, I mean, it's the same thing with Deca Blue and Deca Red, so what can you do? Um, but anyway, articulation wise, well, I mean, you know, pretty much the same as the other two, you know, 360 with the head, swivel on the arms, you know, uh, elbow movement, hand movement, ab crunch here. Uh, swivel in the legs here, and then uh, knee movement, feet movement, and toe. Okay, now to the contents that come with Deca Green, and we'll start off with this one. Uh, Deca Green comes with his own D knuckle. As you can see, it's got SPD, and it's got the uh, paint here in red right here, and got silver at the bottom and white here. Really, really nice. Now. Deca Blue came with his own D-Rod, well so does Deca Green, and of course this time Deca Green's uh, D-Rod has green painted here at the uh, handle here, and uh, really nice. As you can tell it's a long weapon. Uh, next he comes with a uh, D-Rod that goes into his holster here, and here it is right here. Next uh, he has a uh, uh, D knuckle holster, kind of similar to what uh, Deca uh, Blue had. And next, you know how uh, Deca uh, Blue had the D sniper. Well, Deca uh, Green has the uh, D blaster, and uh, mainly it's just the D knuckle and the D rod combined together. And uh, really, really nice detail, you know. Really, really nice. Uh, and just like Deca Red and Blue, Deca Green comes with his own SP license. And uh, you can open it up. I'll see if I can open it up real quick. Let me. I'm going to have to use this real quick. And of course it does open up like that. Uh, which is really, really nice and very, very tiny. Um, and of course, he does come with a holster for his SP now license. Now to the hands that come with Deca Green, and uh, pretty much you're getting the same hands that you, uh, like you would get with Deca uh, Blue. And um, we'll start off with these. Uh, we have uh, he comes with uh, two open hands here, like he's you know um, 
like a very special pose with the hands wide open. Relaxed hands, I guess you can call them. And uh, here is his SP license holding hand. And of course, uh, here's one hand when he's doing a decoranger pose. And then uh, here's another one. Uh, next he comes with two uh, D-Rod holding hands. And then, uh, well I'm sorry, D-Knuckle. Uh, these, I'm sorry, let me backtrack. These are D-Knuckle holding hands. And uh, here is a D-Rod holding hand. There we go. <laughs> and um, here's a whole bunch, uh, here's about three relaxed open hands here. So, so anyway friends, I that's ahead and I cheated, I know. And I put the SP license in this holster on his back like this. So, which is a, a nice, nice, nice fit. And uh, let me check something, okay? So, we'll go ahead and, and uh, deal with the uh, holster for the uh, D uh, rod. And uh, it just goes right here. And I'll get a little closer. Just push it on in. And there you go. So, here is the D rod. And uh, mainly the D rod for uh, like. Uh, uh, for the holster. I can get it in. Alright, and it just slides on in. So there's one. And now we'll put his arm down. Next we're gonna put the uh the knuckle holster. And uh it just mainly all this is just it fits right on in. Uh it, it may give you a little problem every now and then but hey. And then uh here is the uh Oh, got the bad case of the drops. Hold on a minute. All right. So anyway, here we go. You put it right here, and it just slides on in, and it's it's like a hook. So there you have it. And I'll just turn him around. That's what he looks like with all his holsters on him. Into Deca Green's so, hand, and as you see, I have him already with the hands and all. But uh, gonna go ahead and uh, put the D uh, knuckle in his hand here, and uh, I can either have him shooting like this, and uh, the uh, D rod, you know, pretty much, you know, same thing here. Oop. So you can pretty much do it like this, and we'll have them bending down a little bit there. So yeah, we're going to have him like this. I'm going to back him up a little bit. But I do, friends, have more pictures on my blog and Facebook. Now, please check all that out. And, uh, I mean, if, you, if there's something that I miss in this review, uh, please check out my, my blog and Facebook because I do have more pictures. And that's pretty much the reason why I do this. So, anyway. Uh, my three favorite primary colors. <laughs> but anyway, friends, I did promise you guys... Two special guests to, uh, to join Decca Green. Well, here is Decca Red and Decca Blue. And uh, like I said, my three favorite primary colors here. And so, uh, anyway, it's amazing that these three were the first to be released out of the uh, figure arts line of Decca Ranger. And, of course, we have the girls coming up. So, uh, and I'm looking forward to getting the girls. So, uh, anyway, well... Just sit back and relax and enjoy this for a little while, and uh, we'll go to the next part to conclude this review on Decca Green. So, here we go. Despite the fact that this figure art has the pesky Shinkane uh, shoulders, uh, this uh, um, figure art doesn't really have many flaws. There's no paint splotches, mainly not on mine. Uh, but it's all in all a nice figure art to have and you know if you are a Decca Ranger fan go get him now Decca Blue and Decca Green here um, both have the same kind of contents uh, well excluding the fact that Decca uh, Blue gets the uh, D Sniper 
and deck of green here gets the D blaster and of course both of these guys here are exclusive so uh, leaving uh, deck of red the only non-exclusive one so uh, but I do recommend him I, I, I recommend every figure art that I own to any of you guys out there and uh, please check out Mandrake, Oki, Rider Proxy and even CS Toys um, and go visit Mr. S there, you know, mainly for all your Tulsa site needs. Um, check out my blog for more pictures. It is Eugene421A1sBlog.blogspot.com for all your info on the channel, future reviews, future vlogs, you name it. And mainly for more pictures of this guy on both Facebook and my blog, uh, follow me on Twitter. And um, um, like I said, I definitely do recommend it. I got this, uh, like I said, from Mandrake. Um, I got a good deal on it despite paying for the shipping and the handling fee, but hey, I'm glad I got him, and like I said, I definitely do recommend him. Uh, I know he is an exclusive, so, you know, good luck to all you guys out there on trying to find it. But uh, anyway, well, my friends, this is the review on the SH Figure Arts Deck of Green. I hope you enjoy. Well, I'm Eugene. I'm signing out, and I hope you have a good day, and I will see you next time. Bye, friends.